14,345. We've got the mixed break. I don't even know where I'm going to put this one. I don't even know. The way I look at it, Zach, at the end of the day, I know people don't... So, we've had this conversation a ton of times. Is a lot of people don't factor in the overall cost. Like, we had one guy who literally tried to drop off 10 cards to us like a month ago. Dazzlers for the Vegas Golden Knights of Shea Theodore. And then he's like, oh man, like, those prices. He was a little worried about the M&T prices. And then uh, he's like, I'm going to go to PSA. And then he didn't realize how longer PSA is going to be and how much more expensive it's going to be. Craps off, Marky Rookie Retro for the Rangers. And that's the thing is, if you use Beckett and you're paying $100 a card, and then you use m and and you're paying $40 a card, that card has to sell for 60 bucks more on average. Portraits Rookies of Ustamenko for the Flyers. And that's what people don't realize. Like Some of the Beckett and PSA Express services are like three, 400 US. Mitchell, Young Guns for the Hawks. I don't know the exact way, but I'm pretty sure like PSA has express services for like $300 US. So the thing is, if I have a Matthews Young Gun and you have a Matthews Young Gun, and one's PSA and one's m &T, and your card goes for 100 bucks more, people are gonna be like, oh, look at the difference. But the difference is if you paid 250 more, you're down that money. Aiden Hill, m and 9 for the Coyotes. You'd never noticed. I will say, I will admit, that's a decently uh, well-hidden sticker. I will give him that credit. Nine five young guns for the pre or for the Montreal Canadiens, Brendan Nash. Brendan Nash. And we've got a nine five ice rookie to nine ninety nine Lucas Walmart. Because I literally had that conversation with a customer in store. It was like about a hundred dollar young gun, literally a hundred dollar young gun. And they were telling me like, well, the m and one sold for $10 less than PSA. And I was like, sure, but the PSA guy probably spent 50 bucks more. So at the end of the day, you always have to look at your overall cost. To me, it's like, it's like if I sell you a box of cards for $99, but I charge you $30 shipping. Or you could buy it for one twenty nine or one twenty four ninety nine somewhere else with free shipping. I might seem cheaper, but I'm not. Portrait of Dre Seidel. And that's what I think a lot of people forget about. We've got a Robert Hag for the Philadelphia Flyers, young guns. Portrait of McDonough for the Rangers. And I've always been on the, the train. If you guys want a good alternative to Beckett and PSA, Lindholm for the Carolina Hurricanes, you have to help support the good companies. If you guys let, for example, like if KSA and m and go down in Canada, we have nothing. Ealer, Shining Stars, Red for the Jets. So at the end of the day, we got to be smart and help support good companies. Because if we're all we're ever going to do is complain about PSA and Beckett, and then we just don't support the ones that are in our backyard. Adrian Kempe, Young Guns for the LA Kings, or just new alternatives, whether it's in your backyard or not. Just support companies that are helping out. Yep. Shining Stars of Shifley for the Jets. I remember I looked at a Beckett uh, form because they were shipping out to dealers. Yuriana for the Dallas Stars Young Guns. And literally it was like, I think the cheapest card for me to ship, and this was like, I think uh, 60 day service or something crazy like that at the time. Portraits of Malkin for the Penguins. I think it was like $72 US to ship one card. Young Guns Canvas, Cali Rosen. So when their cheapest alternative was 71 US, which included the shipping and the insurance, like that's a lot of money. That's literally a hundred bucks Canadian roughly. Shining stars of Wenberg for the Blue Jackets. 
They do not know. I don't know if they ever plan to. I know I asked them uh, probably a year ago and they said no. Honestly, I feel like that's like... I feel like that's a very risky path to go down. I know KSA, I think, did that. And they got slaughtered. <laughs> Samuel Morin, young gun, for the Flyers. Hartman, canvas for the Hawks. You know what the funny thing, and I'm not going to lie about this, I thought about this perfect. It's weird why people like, and I'm not saying this really about just PSA, because obviously this pertains to Beckett, KSA, uh, MNT, and there's a few other graders. Why is it the grader that does the least amount of work is the most popular? And what I mean by that is the subgrades. Will Butcher, Young Guns for the Devils. Like, Beckett does subgrades. MNT does subgrades. I believe, uh, I believe KSA, maybe, does KSA do subgrades? I also forget. Portrait of Taylor Hall for the Devils. But I find it funny that the people absolutely love PSA, yet they're like, they do the least amount of work for your card. We got a Landeskog for the Avalanche. Landeskog. Game jersey. I, I just find that part funny. I, I just don't understand how we as a hobby run it in for the Avalanche, latch on to the, the grading service that is literally the cheapest of the grading services in terms of that. Formentin, Young Guns for the Sens. Ah, uh, Dave, yeah, I can do that for you. Brad Marchand for the Boston Bruins, Shining Stars. I, I just find that honestly somewhat comical perfect like I legit thought about that a couple days ago I'm like it's weird why is a hobby the one big company that does not do subgrades we value them the most and again my personal opinion doesn't mean it's right just I'm allowed to have my own opinion I find PSA to be the worst of the big three graders like in my opinion I trust Beckett and m &T way more than I do PSA there is way too many tens I see that when even when I look at the card, I can tell you there's something massively wrong with it. I hate that. Uh, the Sunday Monster Break will be launched tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon, probably around 2-ish, 3-ish. We got a red of Giroux for the Flyers. Dowdy blue for the LA Kings. Exceptional Town of Backstrom for the Caps. We've got a Carey Price for the Habs Red. We've got a Sackic Blue for the Avalanche. And a career spanning of Lenny. We've got a Daniel Sedin for the Vancouver Canucks Red. Jake DeBrus Green Rookie for the Bruins. Yamamoto Newcomers for the Oilers. That is interesting though. We've got a Pasternak for the Boston Bruins Red. Number to 26, Impact Players for the Canucks, Brock Besser. That's a rookie Brock Besser one. Impact Pairs of Marlowe for the Avalanche, or sorry, for the uh, Leafs. We've got a Tage Thompson, red for the Blues. Crosby, blue for the Penguins. Impact Players of Forsberg for the Avalanche. I always remember there's one marquee rookie. I, I think I gave you guys a link to it. Rosen red for the Leafs, Tavares blue for the Islanders, newcomers of Nylander for the Sabres. It was by far the worst centering I've seen, and it somehow got a 10. Vince Dunn red for the Blues, Hayden Fleury for the Canes uh, blue, exceptional town of Crosby for the Penguins. And that's what bugs me, because there's no way that card got a 10. Gerard for the Avalanche, red. Bowie, uh, green for the Caps. Impact players of Bellevue for the Habs. Like, no word of a lie, if you remember when I showed it to you guys, everyone would admit that centering would probably get like a 7 or an 8. So how is it possible that card got a 10? And that's what bothers me, and people blindly pay that. There's certain, uh, you're talking about the, po or not popularity report, the population report, KZ? 
Yeah. Like, as I said, I mean, obviously I open, uh, like, the Platinum Marquee Rookies all the time perfect, right? So I see a lot of them. And I remember, like, I was just browsing on eBay because we had, we had a McDavid come in from a customer. And I saw one went for, like, $300. I'm like, holy jeez. Latang canvas for the Penguins. So I clicked on it, and I looked, I'm like, oh my god, the centering's off, and somehow it's a 10. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks canvas. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, KZ, their, their population report sucks. Robertson Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. But again, I believe, you know, they will probably improve over time. You know, is it their younger company? I'm also not shy. I'll happily tell them those kind of things and if they want to improve them. Canvas for the Canes. But again, I think people also have to realize, you know, Beck and PSA are, what, 30 years old? Lindstrom Young Guns for the Red Wings. And worth half a billion dollars for PSA. Right? I don't think m is worth half a billion yet. Dylan Strome for the Hawks, so... I don't really take too much stock in comparing a four-year-old company to a 30-year-old company. But the strides that they've taken, I think, are really, really good. And as I said, everything that I've looked for in a grading company, I was happy with what they've done. But I agree. I would like to see the stickers gone. I would like a better population report. I actually like this checkout. As a dealer, when we have to fill out cards for uh, customers, I actually really think their checkout is one of the better ones. It's a very quick process. Flurry for Vegas canvas. Portrait of Foodie for the King uh, for the Jackets. Vanisek Young Guns for the Caps. So going on that though, perfect. What I find funny, what I honestly find funny, Di Pietro Young Guns for the Canucks. Is if people know that they're not the strictest and they don't do subgrades, why do they actually sell the most? I, I would love to know that. Shen for the Blues. Uh, the Team Canada is going to go tomorrow or Sunday, just so you know, Dave. That'll be a tomorrow or a Sunday project. As I said, that was supposed to be uh, the last break, two breaks ago, I think it was. So I gotta, I gotta get on this kind of stuff. <laughs> I gotta get on the shipping. Portrait of Brock Nelson for the Islanders. Got to put my card in number. Oh yeah, Ustamenko Young Guns for Philly. Oh no, I'm, I'm not even talking about that part, Casey. I'm talking about the actual entry of the cards. Reed Duke Young Guns for Vegas. Like they have a pretty smooth system for that. Portrait of Ovechkin for the Caps. And a Dazzlers of Crosby for the Penguins. But I do wonder if some people just don't see what's going on in the hobby. Like, SGC, I, I'm pretty sure, and again, someone correct me if I'm incorrect on it. They lifted their price up from 25 US to, I think, 75 US. And it's funny, because M&T lifts up their pricing... I mean, obviously we do all the dealer stuff for it. It's like, they lift up the price in like 10, 15, 20 bucks and people are like, oh my God, and they're freaking out. And yet SGC lifted it up like three times and PSA lifts it up like God knows how much. And people are like, oh yeah, that's fine. 145, David Pasternak for Boston. Still say, I, I still believe m is by far the best value. Overall, I think they're the best value. We've got an auto fax. Michael Dow Cole. Islanders. And of course, Casey. It's because I own them, right? $2.99. David Perron. $4.99. Roman Yossi. For the Preds. I got quite the stranglehold. I own Universal. I own MT. I think someone said I owned Upper Deck a long time ago. Or I'm in with Upper Deck. One of the two. Jack Hughes. For the Devils. Year one rookie sweaters. <laughs> or um, Steve Iserman. For the Red Wings. 
Wow, this is a really good box. We've got a rookie of La Ferreniere for the Rangers. I just love that people think that I like, like I can run all that. Three ninety nine, Jake Evans for the Habs. You like to buy their stock? That's funny. Like, I, I think that's honestly a nice compliment. If people legitimately think I can do uh, that and this, you know, I mean, that's what I do. I get off at 12 o'clock at night and I just apparently work for 24 hours somewhere else. We've got 222, Joe Thornton. Joe Thornton. Oh, that is sexy. A Letterman patch autograph number 210. Sidney Crosby. Oh, that's a massive card. Crosby Letterman patches. Number to ten. Damn, that's huge. We've got an autograph of Andy Green. Andy Green. And for the Canes, Martin Nietzsche. Rookie. Or not rookie. Just auto. My, one of my favorites, honestly, though, Casey, is when we're having a conversation. The one guy was uh, asking if Universal had, like, invested in our company, stock in our company or whatever. We've got for the Winnipeg Jets, Ville Hanola. And I told him no, and he, like, he was quite, quite persistent on it. And it's funny, I'm thinking, like, I wish Universal had stock in my company. Because then I could get a hell of a lot more stock. Like, absolutely, I would not be... Number one, that would not be a bad thing if my distributor would happily invest in my company. Because I would probably get a lot more inventory, which is beautiful for me. We've got an introduction to Dobson for the Islanders. So, I do wish they did. Two ninety nine autograph rookie, Dobson for the Islanders. Are we going to go for a triple? We've got for the LA Kings 99 Ultimate Rookie Auto Patch, Blake Lazat. Blake Lazat. And for the Habs, Caden Primo. Diamond. We've got a Vancouver three forty nine Bo Horvat for the Hawks. Dirk Graham autograph sparkling script. Or scripts. We've got for the Blues team logos of Alex Petrangelo. Alex Petrangelo. We've got for the Boston Bruins Diamond Mine Relics of David Pasternak. Boston Bruins jersey, Pasternak. Number to 49, Diamond Relics for the LA Kings, Mikey Anderson. Mikey Anderson to 49. Sick. 
Diamond. And we've got a Vegas Golden Knights 299 Peyton Kreps. There we go. Now I'm just going to do the random for the box, folks. Oy. Uno Momentos. Here we go. Three times over lands on top gets it. One, two, three. Drew for Anaheim. Congrats.